I'm going to talk about partial payments and why it happens and why it's important to sync your inventory whenever you make changes to your Clover inventory. As you guys may already know, your online order page is the inventory from your Clover. When you first install the app, the prices are exactly the same as your Clover inventory. But as time goes by, you may have changed your prices. So for example, this is the order online page this is the inventory from where those prices came from but a few weeks later a few months later down the road you change the prices and then all of a sudden you got an order and it said partial payment and you were concerned you're asking yourself why is there a partial payment for this order because the total is 77 dollars but you only got 76.46 and on your clover dashboard or on your clover device it says partial payment so to prevent this from happening, what you'll have to do is sync your inventory whenever you update your prices. So for example, here is my inventory and let's suppose I go here and I change a price. I change this to 350. Okay. If this is 350, it's still going to be 325 on the website because this is your price on the Clover. So your customers on the website will still pay 325. So in order to for them to see the 350 price on your website, you have to sync it. So here's how you sync it. You go to your Clover dashboard, which is the back end. Sorry, not Clover dashboard. I apologize. Your smart online order dashboard. This area here. You press Clover orders, settings. You press import sync inventory. Once you press import sync inventory, you're going to press update modifiers. If you had changed your taxes, please do that as well. But most merchants that I speak with hardly change the taxes probably once a year or once every couple of years. But if you change it, go ahead, press update taxes too, because I'm not sure what you may have changed. What I, what I normally do is I do these four. But if you change your taxes, please do that as well. And then w once I do this one, I do this one. Because what it's doing now is it's checking the Clover for any ch changes to your modifiers. And it's going to update it for you. Press update categories. And then press update all items. Once you have done these steps, it will match the price that's on your Clover inventory. So this may take some time, it, depending on how many items you have. So if you have thousands of items or hundreds of items, you, you may have to wait for it to finish. So once it, once it says updated or okay, then you can, then you'll know that it's finished. Okay. Now we know everything updated. Now the prices are going to match the Clover. One, but one last thing I want to show you is that clean inventory is equally important. Clean inventory is, is if you remove stuff. So for example, let's suppose I go here and I go to my inventory and I delete five, 10 different items. Okay. I decide to delete this, this, and a bunch of stuff okay these items are still on the website because because you have to do a clean inventory to remove these old items that you no longer have on your clover register app or on your inventory so you have to do that as well because what's going to happen is somebody's going to come to your website and order the 12 inch coffee or this coffee drink here and once it reaches your clover you're going to get a blank blank means that the item name is not going to show on the clover because it's no longer there so you have to clean your inventory so that does not happen what that's called is called a missing item so if you are getting a partial payment a missing item or both or any combination thereof come here and do these steps okay um, you can do both it does not hurt to do both so in this video I'm gonna do both just to show you how it works when you do your clean inventory it's important that you do all the steps okay so for example order types if you had not changed the order types then you don't have to clean this but i'm going to do all of it just for just for me to show you how it works remember once you press it wait till it says the word cleaned okay see how i wait until it said clean now press next press start once you press start wait till it says cleaned now press next press modifier groups cleaned i have 27 modifier groups so that means it'll take some time to clean all the modifier groups so you may take up to a minute or it could take longer depending on how many modifier groups you have the important thing is to wait till it says cleaned see now I have the word cleaned now I press next this one will take a long time okay 
because modifiers are within modifier groups. Let's suppose you have 100 modifiers within each modifier group. That could take at least five minutes to clean. So be patient with the modifiers. Modifiers and items are usually the most that you may have in your inventory. So th those ones you may have to wait. Once the modifiers are cleaned, you press next and then do categories and then items. So I'm not going to do all of it because it'll take some time for this video. But once you have done them all, it'll say all done. Once you're once it's all done, then that means that your inventory is cleaned and updated. OK, so make sure to do all of it. And you're probably wondering, how did I get to the screen? Um, how, how am I how am I able to do all this stuff? So let me give you some pointers here. Um, check your email for the link to the order online page. This was emailed to you on how to log back here over here. If you don't have that, send this video to your web developer so they can sync it for you because your web developer may have made the website for you and he knows the instructions or the login to do it for you. Third option, if you can't find the email, is go to your website, press order online, and if your online order page ends in ends with the following dot smart online order dot com then simply put WP admin at the end okay so for example if your website if your order online page is Mike's tacos dot smart online order dot com you're gonna put Mike's tacos dot smart online order dot com forward slash WP admin just like that just put this at the end just just put this at the very end and then press enter if you don't have your password just press forgot password to get that and if your web if your website is WordPress, then you can simply log into your own WordPress website. That's how you come to the section here. Okay. Uh, the sixth option you can try is just go to smartonlineorder.com and press login. Okay. You can try that as well. So that's how you solve the partial payment issues, the missing item issues, and again, uh, important reminder. So again, whenever you make changes here, you also have to do what I just did with the syncing, okay, to make sure the prices are all the same on both sides. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day.